Irish caravan. That's disgusting, what's in it? Oh, I don't know. Do you want another one? No. I'm having another. <laughs> yeah, how's your boy holding up? Well, he's enjoying the free bar anyway. Yeah. Tommy, do you want a care bomb? Yeah, go on. This is fucking great. Go easy with the shots. Someone will think you're celebrating. But I'm not. Here, I better head, right? Rosie's not answering her phone. Will you relax? I'll be back in a bit. Rosie! She okay? Yeah, she's fine. Her temperature was spiking and the call out doctor couldn't come till later, so I threw them in the car and took them to A&E. Yeah, she's all right, but... Yeah, I just thought I should get a scene, you know? Yeah, yeah. Kids in bed then? Yeah, they're wrecked. We're waiting a couple of hours. Oh, I'm sorry. No, yeah, fine. I'm still a little freaked out from the other day. Yeah, no sign of anyone then? No. What? I know this is going to sound paranoid. What? I keep thinking there's someone out there. What, outside? I thought there was someone in the house earlier. It's normal after all that to feel a bit paranoid. No. It, it's something else. I don't know. It, I can feel it. Someone watching me. Have you seen anybody else hanging around? No. I don't know. It's like... Goosebumps. Talking about down the road. Down the road would be happy. Down the road would be perfect, but it never is. Well, were you not happy living in the flat? I was. Well, what's the problem then? Because it only lasts a few days, a week. It's like the honeymoon and then the honeymoon's over. And you're back doing your thing again. Well, say something. If you wanted to talk, so talk. I don't know what to say. Well, then head back in, so... No, I mean, I don't know what to say. You know what I want. I want you, and that's it. I want kids with you, and I want no one else. No one. But I've said all this to you, so I don't know what to say, because if you don't think the same, then there's nothing I can do. That's not fair. Well, why isn't it fair? Because it wasn't my decision. Wait, well, you left. You're the one with the problem. You know why I left. No, I don't. Because of what you've done. Oh, what have I done? I can't even say it. And I asked you and you lied to me, swore blind you did. And you don't think it matters because... Because if someone was a bad person, but it does, Darren. Because I'd be lying next to you in the bed and instead of thinking... This beautiful man is next to me and I'm going to have beautiful babies with him, I'd be thinking of... What? I'd be thinking of corpses rotten in the ground. Darren, I know it's him. I saw him. You're sure? Yeah. It was only for a split second, but I know 100% it was him. It's beyond weird. What's he doing? I don't know. But I'd say he's harmless. Darren, it's not harmless. It's totally freaking me out. No, I'm saying, I don't think he means any harm. Now what do we do? I'll talk to him. Yeah, and what, he'll deny it? Maybe, but if I tell him he's freaking you out, he will stop. I know he will. Talk to him then? Yeah, I will. I don't want you going round to Mary's house. What do you mean? You know what I'm talking about, so you can stand there and lie to me, or you can tell me what the fuck you're doing. Mary's completely freaked. So, are you gonna tell me what you're doing? Cause I thought we were mates, 
And here you are scaring the shit out of my sister, stalking her like a fucking serial killer or something. I wasn't stalking her. What were you doing then? Luke, I need you to stop this, number one. It won't happen again, Dan. What the fuck were you doing? Look, if you like her or something, you talk to her. You don't be fucking spying in her windows. And with only her and the kids in the house, what the fuck are you? A pervert? No, I'm not a pervert. You're a peeping Tom, are you? No, I'm not. Well, you better tell me what the story is or you get a breeze block across the head. Do you hear me, Luke? I'm sorry. And you're a fucking liar and all. All that shit about staying in the house and getting your night goggles on to guard her. And it was you all along. What were you doing? It wasn't Mary. What the fuck? She saw you. Are you saying she's lying? I thought you said it was you. It was me, but it was Mary. It's not that. It's not about Mary. What is it then? I only do... I only do sometimes for the company. I don't mean to scare people or anything like that. I just... When I was in the care home, sometimes he used to go for a gander. And this one time he was looking in the back window of a house. I was going to rob it. And his family were all there. And they were watching the telly together. You know, laughing and everything. And I don't know. We do that sometimes, you know? Being bored and all. I'm sitting here on my own. I feel sort of good afterwards, you know? Like I knew them. Or like they are my family. I get lonely sometimes, that's all it is. I'm embarrassed saying it, but that's all it is. And what about Mary? Why Mary? Oh, I don't know. I was walking around and I walked up that way and I thought I'd look in. I didn't mean to freak her out, Darren, I swear. Look, I'm embarrassed and I'm fucking mortified. I say sorry and all to her, but... You can't do it again. No. And I don't want you to go near the house. I understand, Darren. Whatever you say. I need you to swear that it won't happen again. I swear. I swear, Dan. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. There he is. All right? Hey. Go on through, Darren. He's in the garden. I got this for the little fella, Trish. Oh, thanks, Darren. You're very good. Here, go on through. I'll get you a beer. All right, Nidge. Darren. This is fucking shit. She's the caterer's in. She still wants me doing the barbecue. There she is now. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Will you get someone else to do this? We need to have a chat with Darren. Yeah, don't worry about it. Go on ahead. Cheers, Trish. Come on. Why well, she couldn't have him do it in the first place, I don't know. <laughs> don't get married is my advice. Sorry you couldn't make it to the church, by the way. Nah, don't worry about it. It was family only, really, you know? Yeah, no. I got you this. It's not the baby's present. I gave that to Trish. But I saw this in the pound shop next door and thought it'd be a laugh, right? Here. King Nidge. <laughs> I like the sound of that, I have to say. So what did you end up calling him? John. I know. But it wasn't a family and now and fuck it, I figured. It's one more thing to throw the cops off the scent. <laughs>